I can't wait to show you our garden beds. The plants have gotten so big in such a short time. So I'm gonna show you while I first look for these little inchworms that continue to keep eating our leaves. But I've made a solution of some Castile soap with water. So I'm gonna spray anything I see, any leaves I see that have been eaten. And then we'll water all our plants and we can take a look at what's growing. I think the worst of it, the inchworms really like the Brussels sprouts and our cauliflower and broccoli. So I always need to make sure that I spray those leaves because they like to eat those. And if you look over here, you'll see that we're growing flowers. You can see the flowers growing here and also here. Now, do you remember what these are? This is a cucumber. And then you can see our pepper plant is getting really tall. Oh my goodness. If you look over here this plant is getting tall and has some flowers blooming and this one do you remember this little baby pepper before look at this look at how much bigger it's gotten it's still not it still has a long way to go it's not fully developed but wow it's come a long way and what about this I think there's still a little one forming in there concerned about our tomato plant the flowers look like they're drying out so I'm not sure what's gonna happen I don't know if we planted these too late but we'll see all right let's water let's give everything some water it's supposed to be a super hot day today we want to make sure all our plants have enough to drink we put this netting up to make it less attractive to the opossums and raccoons that like to visit in the nighttime while we're all sleeping. It's so great over here as well. And it's gonna be time to pick some of this lettuce. The more you pick lettuce, the more it grows back. Oh no! What happened to our mint? <gasps> Something feasted on our mint. Look at you guys, all our leaves are gone. This was a hardy plant. I don't know what happened here. I don't know if that's that inchworm. I'm gonna spray this really well with a soap solution and hope that we can preserve the rest of it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the basil and the sage, although the sage looks pretty. Oh no, something took a bite out of the sage too. That's a, that's, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's look to see if we can find this pesky inchworm. They, they really hide well. They are, they camouflage. Oh, there it is, there it is. Do you see it? Do you see how that is so camouflaged? which means you can, it is the same color as the leaf so that it's harder for people to find and get rid of it. It wants to just keep eating. And this is probably, look at how big it is. The other ones I've picked out are, have been even smaller. This is pretty big and it's probably what ate all my mint. See that? Yep, that's the culprit. Leaves, just so that we don't have a problem next time. Um, and now let's give all of our plants some fresh water. Basil, oh, do you guys like basil? I love basil. I love basil, tomatoes, and mozzarella. I love basil, pesto. Our Thai basil, which is a little bit different than the Italian basil, it still tastes delicious. Oh no, friend! What happened here? I think.
think a critter got into this. Maybe a raccoon. And remember, we had planted tomatoes. I think it was probably going after the tomato. I don't know if there are any seeds or if the seeds are somewhere in this soil. Sometimes we have some mishaps in the garden because the outdoors is a habitat for other others other than humans, right? All our animal friends live out here. And so sometimes this happens, but don't be discouraged. Sometimes I get discouraged when my things, my plants get eaten, but don't be discouraged. We can do this. Hopefully your tomato plants are, your tomato seeds are sprouting and germinating and growing. It takes a little while, so don't worry. It's not gonna happen in a week or two. Look at our cutie strawberries here. Oh, we've got two new strawberries. Two, yep, two new baby strawberries on this plant. This plant had no strawberries before, and look at this one. This one's getting bigger. And this one, this little one that was really tiny before has gotten even bigger. And hopefully these will also become strawberries. Let's read a story and then I'm going to show you a project that you can do germinating seeds in the sun. Our story is called A Fruit is a Suitcase for Seeds, written by Jean Richards and illustrated by Anka Harriton. As you can see, my little, my little Fifi has jumped up to my lap. She's curling up to listen to a great story. Most plants have seeds. When you put a seed in the ground and water it, a new plant grows from it. Seeds often travel to faraway places. If seeds did not travel, too many plants would grow in one place. It would be very crowded. Some seeds travel on the wind. Some seeds travel in the water. Many seeds travel inside fruits. The fruit is like a suitcase for seeds. It protects them on their trip. Fruits look beautiful and taste good, so animals and people eat them and drop the seeds in different places. Some fruits carry one big seed inside them. The seed is called a pit. A cherry is one of these fruits. Can you name a few others? Look at the picture for some hints. Some fruits have many small seeds inside them. An apple is one of these fruits. Can you find some other fruits on this page that have many seeds? Some fruits have many, many tiny seeds inside them. A kiwi is one of these fruits. Now these are really tiny seeds. Can you find other fruits on this page that have tiny, tiny seeds? Many berries such as strawberries and blackberries carry their seeds on the outside. Did you ever notice that? Raspberries do too. Some vegetables we eat are really fruits. They carry seeds too. I actually had to look this up because when my daughter was in second grade, she said, a cucumber and a pepper are not vegetables, they're fruits, when I was cooking one night and telling her she had to eat her vegetables. And she was right, they are fruits because they have seeds. Peas are seeds. Can you find the seeds on this ear of corn? Hint, it's the part that you eat. I'll bet you didn't know that every time you eat a peach, a cherry, an avocado, a plum, a cucumber, a tomato, a grape, an apple, an orange, 
a pea, a pear, a melon, a banana, or a blueberry, you're really eating a suitcase, a suitcase for seeds. Thank you for joining us today on our little gardening outing and for our story. Let's go outside and do a project where you can watch a seed germinate. Okay, so today we're going to germinate some seeds and what you'll need is a paper towel, a baggie, some seeds that you could just take right out of your fruits. Uh, this, these are pepper seeds that we've been saving. My daughter likes to collect them. And then a little bit of water. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna wet the paper towel. And my paper towel is a little dirty from my dirty hands when we were working with the plants and watering them earlier. So you're gonna open up your baggie. You're gonna place a few of your seeds, sprinkle them on. You don't need too many. I probably used too many here. Um, onto the wet paper towel. Then you're gonna stick the paper towel inside the baggie. And watch what happens. Take a look at your baggie every day and see what happens with your seeds. Thanks for joining us today. Remember to like the video and subscribe to support our channel.